Hey everybody, I'm Bear. And I'm Pixie. And today we're selling at Rose City Comic Con. So let's go. All right, we have all the tables set up. So this will be kind of a picture of what our table used to look like last year. And then now we have this year. If you're interested in seeing more behind the scenes of our setup and getting all the products and everything ready, I have our previous video, so I'll put that one here if you're interested in watching that one. That goes through all the process of making new products and the table and everything there too, so if you want to check that one out, check on that link there too down below. Alright everybody, this is the end of day one of Rose City Comic Con. So far it's been really, really good. We've almost doubled what our numbers were on the first day of Rose City Comic Con last year. So that's been awesome. So uh, we're going to continue covering what uh, we're doing this year. Day two, obviously, tomorrow morning. We'll see how it goes. Last year it was uh, way busier than the first day, so we'll see how it goes. So yeah, we'll, I think we only have like 45 minutes left to yeah. wrap up for today and then we'll go to our hotel and get some dinner so I'm hungry. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. Absolutely. Alright, see, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Alright guys, we are starting day two at Rose City Comic Con. If you want to come by and say hello, we're just getting started here. Do you want to add anything else? Oh, wait, if you want to put that 
It's on the back in the little bag of that. Oh, perfect. Thank you right, so thank much. You. Have a good one. You too, Thanks. guy. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Kumpi cats have been doing really well so far. So these are the new additions. I'm so glad I found As well as all the methods. The sink ones have been really popular, and the box kitties, I think, are the most popular so far. Well guys, wrapping up on day two. It's a little bit slower um, than we expected, but it's been a lot of fun. We've actually had a lot of people try out our mystery dice rolling game, which has been a blast. Yep, and that was really good. I did have a little bit of a hiccup with the cash app card not working today, um, like just a little bit where it was not wanting to connect, but thankfully we were able to come back and fix it, so I don't know what was going on there. Um, and then we had quite a few people go for our magnets. Those are the new items, so they've been really popular, so I'm glad they're doing really well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll see you for day three. All right, see you for the last one. Okay, guys, starting day three. Um, Apparently we hate ourselves and we wanted to give ourselves more work. So we are going to be taking down the banner behind us and seeing if we could put all those eight and a half by 11 prints up across here. So uh, wish us luck. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> pretty good. We only have two of the Comfy Cat stickers left and only one of the Pet Collection stickers left. I like your X-Men Evolution Rogue cosplay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's an underrated show, that's for sure. I agree. I think it's the best X-Men show. I know that's crazy to say with 97 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not the same, not the same, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
actually, so the Aurora and the Rapunzel, there is a big eight and a half by 11 Rapunzel somewhere up there. Okay. Um, the, those two designs though, they only come in that size. Okay. There is a two for 16 though, with uh, that okay. size print. Okay. I have a Rapunzel themed bathroom. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm trying to fill spots. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think the eight and a half by eleven Rapunzel one we've got somewhere up and above. Yeah. That one's like awesome. I that think my really wife, cool. my wife illustrated all these. So. Really cool. well, I, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll do these two. The Aurora and the Rapunzel. All right. <laughs> yeah, five and sixteen. Okie doke. And then that will just be 16. Would you like to do card or cash? Um, card. Okay. Or a Rapunzel. There we go. And this okay. And then there's that for you. And then you are good. Yep. And then let me drop in a business card in the back here for you on this one. And you are all set. Thank you so much. All right, so we are, so what time is it? It is 3.03. All right, so 3.03, only a couple hours left. We already have quite a few of things going out or almost out. So we have one last sticker pack and then the bookmark. And we're already sold out of the pet collections. The Anya print is also sold out except for the display. And we also have only one left of the Rapunzel too. So everything's doing pretty good. So, so far only a couple hours left. We'll see how things go. Okay guys, we are wrapping up day three. It's been a great uh, last day, honestly, for us at the convention. Uh, we turned out pretty good when it comes to financial kind of results for this convention so we'll share that a little bit more in detail with you in a couple minutes in this video yep so yeah we uh, almost sold out of some things we did sell out of the Anya print and then we had only one left of our bookmark here Yep. and then only one left of the comfy cat stickers so pretty close to selling out to quite a few things which is cool I don't think we've done that before yet so this yeah. is kind of the first time so it went well, really well and don't forget we also sold out of our dog collection stickers too oh that too yep yep so yeah well that was basically it for day three and uh, we're gonna talk more in general about the convention as a whole here right now so everybody this kind of comes to the end of the video we're going to wrap up and kind of give you what our final thoughts and kind of an overall summary of what the convention was like for us yep so we're going to get into pros and cons of rose city comic con um, just especially comparing from rose city comic con last year which was our first one in 2023 of starting this whole convention journey here so um, just to kind of compare a little bit of numbers from last year we were it was like $40, $40 in the red compared to how things went well this year. So this year we actually made $400 in profit. So I yep. would say quite a big difference compared to yeah. uh, how things went last year. And like I, an 1,000% increase basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we did have a lot more uh, products that we added over the year, obviously. I think like our table setup went, like it was much better overall. Yeah. Now, do you want to talk about the table? Yeah, well, okay, so Throughout the first couple days, we kind of felt like the larger eight and a half by 11 prints were not being seen very well because mm -hmm. they were on this backdrop that was behind kind of the overall table setup. So we're literally sitting there in the hotel on Saturday night <laughs> and we're exhausted from the longest day, which was Saturday. And we're like, okay, well, we're seeing this issue. How do we fix it? And then we're like, oh, well, let's just take all the grids and, and we have extras. So let's just connect over the top of the grid so that we can just post all the eight and a half by 11s. We'll move some other stuff around on the table. So, and basically we were just <laughs> like saying to ourselves, we must really hate ourselves because 
we are gonna be completely having to like wake up a lot earlier and have to go in early and we're basically gonna be like revamping resetting up our whole booth kind of set up <laughs> well not necessarily the whole thing not yeah just, just the top portion yeah. at least but holy guacamole yeah. i mean that was we certainly chose to bite off a lot more to chew on that third day <laughs> and it ended up working in well i think i honestly there were a lot more eight and a half by 11 prints that moved out the door um, when we did that that day. I mean, they actually, the, the sales of those kinds of prints ticked up a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, honestly, I'm kind of bummed that we didn't think of that like on the first day. Yeah. <laughs> and not only that, I love it because I hated that stupid backdrop being behind us because like how I was having to sit, the little prints would hit me in the head. And so I'd have to kind of like, kind of sit like off like that or whatever. So it was just, it's nice not to have something behind us either too so um it yeah, ended up working quite well space, yeah yeah you know and and then um so yeah that was kind of a unique change up and honestly when it comes to you guys doing this if you ever think about selling at a convention like we do in this video and have done in previous videos you know don't be afraid if you don't think that your whole setup is working for you or you think you can optimize something don't be afraid to do that mid-convention uh, it's not like all of the customers are going to be really disappointed or angry with you if you s change your setup or tweak it in some way, shape, or form. Um, you know, and so don't be afraid to figure out ways that you can make your booth uh, communicate and show off your products in a better way. So right. that's honestly something that I think was a big thing that we learned this time around, mm -hmm. uh, which is funny because this is like convention number five, and you know of in total of what we've done which isn't a lot i should say but you know you you kind of think as you go through you've got things kind of nailed down but you know it, it just takes a big con like rose city comic con to uh humble you and to <laughs> make you remember you're still learning and still trying this thing out so yeah yeah and i think that that honestly did help a lot too we did get a lot more eyes you know as people are walking by our booth they would see more of the prints up closer yeah um you know they'd see it from farther away too because i think just having those larger prints closer mm -hmm. uh, really catches people's eye and everything there too so i think that was a really good idea on us um to change it there too so i know we had yeah. to get up earlier but I, I think it really did benefit yeah. so i think that was good the other um, the other thing that we came across with our table on Friday when yeah. we were first setting up um, was lights. Uh, so we initially had like these little fairy lights um, yeah. that I had bought just for this convention too, like the first time kind of using these lights and everything there. So, you know, I thought it'd be kind of cool. It's like, oh, these lights are like, they sparkle or like they mm -hmm. have like little effects and things there too. And I thought that would be kind of fun. Brings a cool aesthetic. Um, yeah, yeah. So it'd be like kind of fun to like add to the table. Um, but literally as like we're like mid setting it up like we're like almost done putting it together mm -hmm. uh, one of the staff members at Rose City Comic Con walk up to us and say like hey you can't have that kind of light at the table or at the booth uh, it has to be battery powered uh, and we had a, a plug-in because we we brought like our portable plug-in charger yeah. and we, we used that for like other conventions in the past and never had an issue right uh, we used that to like charge our iPad to like take you know um, square payments. And, yeah, like square yeah. payments and um, just to charge our phones or yep. just other things around the booth that we may or may need. Um, and so I guess that's a no-go at, at Rose City Comic Con at least, that you yeah. can't you can't have plug-in part of uh, electronics at your table. So I am a little confused because at first she walks up and says it's a fire hazard, like, hey, you can't have those lights, you know, right. be a plug-in because it's a fire hazard. Fire, it violates fire code, yeah. But then immediately she turns around and says like, hey, but I'll sell you like with an extension cord if you want electricity to your tables, like you'll have yeah. a plug-in, but you have to pay for it. And I was like, oh, really? Yeah, and, and I mean, the thing that we're talking about, uh, uh, we don't have it around us right now because we're, it's packed and ready to go for the next convention. But it's literally just a big battery. It's no different from like um, one of those kind of little mini batterings that you would kind of grab for cell phones, mm -hmm. except it just has an outlet plug on, like a like an AV AC, sorry, not AV AC power outlet plug-in thing on it. So you can plug in like a laptop charger or something. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a portable battery, mm -hmm. which is exactly like you know the the it was very vague. The the, the part that was I was frustrated with is that. It's very vague, and then instantly she offers, but if you're willing to pay, mm -hmm. we'll just, you can connect right to our power. 
Yeah. And and then it, it just felt very um, predatory. Like, you know, the, the, the table already is, well, well, for us, was $350, which is more expensive than any other convention that we go to. Which I get, I mean, you're, Rose City is very, very popular. There's lots of people that go through it. Um, and not only that, I, I'll also preface this with saying that I think Rose City is probably one of the most artist-minded conventions that we go to because they always place you like right where all of the celebrities and stuff are for like autographs and stuff. So, I mean, I'm not saying that Rose City Comic Con is bad or that the people that run it are bad, but one kind of point of critique would just be on this kind of situation. Please try to explain that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's not like we didn't see other people using stuff like this too. I mean, it just was like, it was just so odd. And it felt kind of predatory when you immediately go, hey, pay us even more money and then we'll allow you to use whatever little, you want. Yeah, little just fairy little lights. fairy lights. Yeah. So yeah, so I don't know. I mean, um, you know, we obviously took it down and we they asked us to take the little power bank thing that we've been talking about and put it in our hotel room. And we absolutely followed that because, you know, obviously we want to um, comply with gu safety guidelines and fire code and things like that, obviously. But it was that part was probably the, the only little hiccup in the whole time. Um, but it was quite frustrating and it was because it was just so vague when it was communicated to us. And it did feel pretty predatory where you're talking to like little small business person and you're like, hey, just pay even more money for your spot here, and then you can have it, your booth exactly the way you would like it. So that, um, it probably wasn't meant to, you know, be that way or to be communicated in that way. It just felt that way. Um, so that would that would be like probably our only critique for this year. So yeah, because like everything else with Rose City was really nice. Like mm -hmm. the the layout and everything, we actually had more room behind us than we did I think last year. Yep. Like, to to move around yep. and have space between tables and um, like things like that. So the, I mean, again, the lights it's a little thing. Yeah, li so, very little thing, very small, minute yeah. thing. So and we got a really good spot this year too. Like we were mm -hmm. literally right in front of like the entrance way. So a really yep. amazing spot. Yep. Um, right in front of like the the guests and everything there too so again like very minor the i would say everything else with like the flow was really good too kind of mm -hmm. easy to walk through uh i think the only other critique would be like i know they had like the signs for like what row you're in for like artist alley mm -hmm. they do kind of get lost in the crowd like it's really hard to see where you are in artist alley yeah uh, when they have those signs on the floor but like if you have them up above like hanging that yeah. i think works a lot better because like they had them for the, the exhibitor, exhibitor hall yep. yeah and if they did that same thing for artist alley i think it would have been much easier to find someone in artist alley um, if you had those signs up higher, um, they just tended to get lost in the crowd and it was just hard to see. But other than that, everything else went really well. Um, really awesome neighbors, like the, our yeah. neighbors were really friendly. Seriously, yeah. It's so like, actually there was like a, an artist behind me. Um, I think I showed like a little clip here of, you know, we were doing like an art trade back and forth here and there. So that was really nice to meet her and, mm -hmm. and like get some art from her and everything there too and going back and forth. Um, and then I think uh, we also got to meet uh, another YouTube fan, so that yeah. was really cool too. Do you want yeah, to talk thanks about for that? watching our videos. Yeah, uh, there was a gal that came up, and she's gonna be in this video, um, probably even before in the in the earlier clip, the um, A Miyako illustration booth that we showed you. Uh, she actually came up to us and said that she discovered us on YouTube and has been watching our videos. So that was really, really cool. So mm -hmm. thanks again for watching our content, uh, Addy. That was really cool to meet you and stuff like that. And then we also had um, the person right next to us. The um, He kind of illustrates a lot of robots and stuff. He was really, really helpful and cool. He allowed us to kind of continue changing up our setup on that Sunday where we kind of ran out of some magnets <laughs> to kind of hang up prints on our grids. And he helped and it was like, hey, I got some extra magnets here. Can You, you can use them if you want. So that was really cool. Very, very appreciated, uh, you know, and, and so very, very thankful for our booth mate right off to our right side there for that. So that was really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then we ended up, you know, seeing some more friends that we've met and gone to other conventions with, mm -hmm. um, selling again here at RCCC. So that was cool. Yeah. And uh, making new ones. So yeah, we met a lot of really great people, uh, a lot of cool, just booth mates in general that were around us and then just people that you know 
were selling that we had just met for the first time on this one or had known previously from others. So that was pretty cool too. Yeah. Hi, my name is Adi Miyako. Uh, you can find me on Instagram or YouTube at A Miyako M. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Thanks again for sharing last year's experience. Yeah, it was yeah. really helpful for me. I was so nervous about coming, so it, yeah. it was really informational. For me. Well, I'm really glad. So, yeah, I mean, that's been crazy just seeing like more people watching our channel. It's like it's still so small, so it's kind of crazy. Like you know, having people mention it's like wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> so thank you. Have a good one. My website, Instagram, everything is Cardinal Crowns. And my Instagram, Twitter, Cardinal Crowns. My website, CardinalCrowns.com. Right, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, hi. Thanks for joining us at Rose City Comic Con. Well, hopefully you were able to come, but it's been a great event. Um, I'm Daisy. And my social media is Lady Chamomile. You can find me on Instagram. I also have my website, ladychamomile.inc, where you can find all my merchandise. But yeah, thank you so much, Alexis, for um, inviting me to film. And check out her website and her YouTube. It is so cool. I really love it. Yeah. Thank you. Right, thank you so much. Because as you kind of get through more of these, you just you start to get to know people, yeah. and that's always cool. I like making friends, so however many more I can add to our little uh, group here is cool. So overall, this convention was really, really good for us. I mean, it, it's cool to start seeing really kind of an upward trend mm -hmm. for us. Yeah, so. I think just over the years, like we've really improved our table and our product and everything. So I think the the again like the overall uh, experience at Rose City was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I think it went really well, and um, so yeah, I just can't wait to see how everything else goes. We do have quite a few other conventions coming up, um, so if you want to check those out, yep. those will be coming out later. The next one that we have is Anime Washington in Spokane, uh, so if you're in the area, make sure to stop by. Yep. Uh, and then we also have another one after that one, the... Um, Annie An Medford. Yep, Annie Medford. Yep. <laughs> Try to remember which one's no. which, in what order. <laughs> yep, and they're, uh, so this Spokane Washington one is the 14th and the 15th. Yep. And then next week, um, the Annie Medford one is a two day, and that's Saturday and Sunday in Medford, Oregon, and that's on the 20th and the 21st, I believe, or the 21st and the 22nd. We're gonna post the actual dates somewhere, yeah, somewhere right here. in this frame, <laughs> so that or whatever that uh, will fully clearly say the dates because it's hard for us right now. We're trying to keep track of all kinds of dates as we're getting set up and kind of convention after convention <laughs> trying to get everything ready to go. So. Uh, our, our minds are just going, what day of the week is it? Okay, it's yeah. Friday, we know what we're doing. So that's kind of where we're at right now as yeah. we're kind of doing all these different <laughs> conventions. So, well, yeah. cool. All right, well, honestly, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all of you who check out our YouTube channel and everything that we do. Um, so thank you so much for that. If you want to leave a like or subscribe, that really, really helps us out in the whole YouTube algorithm space. And it also keeps you guys informed about what we're doing next. Um, and how the studio's doing and what's on the agenda for the next few months and stuff. So please feel free to do that whenever you want. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thank you so much. We also have another video just before this one. If you're interested in checking out how we prepared for all these yeah, conventions, so three. check out that video. Mm -hmm. And then we will see you guys for the next one. Yeah, bye.